My name is Genevieve Holler, and I am the lifestyle editor at Fourth Estate, and this is Cooks and Crafts. Today, we are going to be celebrating the recently passed Chinese New Year with some origami. This round, we're going to do a horse. This is what it will look like, hopefully. All you will need for this craft are um, pieces of paper. Because we go to George Mason University, we're going to use gold, because I used all the green to try to make the other ones. I am going to carry the instructions with me because I have the tendency of messing this up. So, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold a diagonal into the paper. Once that is folded, we unfold it and then we're going to fold it in again. But this time we're going to fold it towards the crease. So that this looks like a kite. From there, you take these corners and you fold them in. So that it looks like that. From there, you do what is called a squash fold and you unfold it here so that you create something that looks like that. I'll show you on the other side. You simply take it out. I cheat by using this corner here. I don't know if that's cheating. I'm sure you're supposed to do it that way. But make sure everything's folded in. And then once the paper agrees with you, you can fold it down. So it looks something like that. Hopefully yours looks a little prettier than mine. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it along this crease here. From there, you're going to fold up. Now you want to make sure this goes right along the crease of this triangle, otherwise your head is going to get too small and it's going to look like a funny horse. As I could probably show you the countless <laughs> designs I've done with a funny headed horse. You uncrease it here, then what you do is you take it and you fold it up. And you want to make sure you stay along the crease that you created. So let me go back. So it should look along the lines of this. So you have a diamondish figure here, you have a triangle up here, and a triangle out here. From there, you do an inverted fold to create the head. So you have your, your head right there. If you want it to look a little more horse-like, you can fold it in a little bit so that it looks a little more square. Next, you fold these things out here so that you make two triangle-ish like figures here. From there, you're, we're going to be working on the, feet, the back feet of the horse. This is gonna end up being the front feet. So, you go in and you fold the horse down. Go back up and you fold along your fold here. create your horses. 
There's your horse's feet right there. Triangle. Next, you fold the front end of the horse's legs down. So it looks like that. And then you fold the legs in so that they look a little more standable. And there you go. You have your horse. So I'm gonna bring Henry from earlier and George. I hope that you liked this video. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. Uh, please come back again for our next Cooks and Craft episode here at Fourth Estate. I'm Genevieve Holder and have a good week.